Hello students, in present video, I'm going to explain about fourth problem from accounting equation topic. I'm taking this question from Kalyani publications. See the question first. Calculate total equity if owner's equity is 60,000 rupees, equity of creditor is 50,000, revenue during the period is 70,000, Expenses during the same period are 65,000. Also calculate revised owner's equity. Two questions is asking. Total equity, revised owner's equity. Let us see the solution for this. We know this accounting equation now. Equity is equal to assets. Here equity means total equity. Because in question he is using total equity word. So equity is nothing but total equity only. Total equity is equal to assets. Here, equity formula, liability plus capital. So, total equity is equal liability plus capital. And in question, in the place of liability, he is using this word, equity of creditors. So, creditors means outsiders. No? So, from outsiders, if we take loan, it comes under liability. So, in liability place, in question, he is giving equity of creditors. Similarly, capital. Who brings capital? Owner only. So, capital is also known as owner's equity. In question, he used this word, owner's equity. So, liability plus capital. We can also write this as equity of creditors plus owner's equity. Equity of creditors is 50,000 rupees and the owner's equity is 60,000 rupees. Thus, total equity is equal 50,000 equity of creditors plus owner's equity 60,000 is equal to 1 lakh 10,000. So, first question answer is 1,10,000. Second question, revised owner's equity he is asking. Owner's equity means what? Capital only, no? So, revised capital he is asking. In previous videos, I have explained about extended accounting equation, no? There what I said, capital in extended form, it is capital plus income minus expenditure. Because capital amount belongs to owner. Income finally belongs to owner only now therefore income of the business we should add to capital and expenditure finally owner should bear so expenditure from capital we have to subtract in present question income and expenditure both are given revenue during the period is 70,000 this is re income now revenue means income and expenses during the period are 65,000 this is expenditure income expenditure both are available these two are to be adjusted to capital now. So, revised owner's equity becomes owner's equity plus income minus expenditure. Owner's equity given in the question. Owner's equity is equal to 60,000 rupees. So, owner's equity is 60,000 plus income given in the question now 70,000. Expenditure is 65,000. So, 60,000 plus 70,000 minus 65,000 is equal to 65,000. So, revised owner's equity is equal to 65,000. Thus, these two questions answers we have calculated. So, total equity is equal to 1,10,000. First question answer. Second question, revised owner's equity is equal to 65,000. Take a screenshot of this solution. So, this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.